Welcome to this tapping session. My name is Steph Burrow, owner of The Empowered Soul. I am here for soul deep healing and expansion. And there can be such a tension in, you know, this becoming, this, this process of discovering who you are on, on a much deeper level, not who your parents told you you are, how you were raised to be, not how society has expected you to be, who you really are at your core, like those codes within your soul, the essence of who you are. That discovery alone um, can be a journey. <laughs> and then, um, you know, the the expansion and the integration of of these pieces and this this journey of becoming it's a beautiful healing expansive process and there can be a lot of tension and turmoil along the way kind of like this question of will i be all that i am becoming you know, who am I becoming? And, and is it is it really possible for me to become that, for me to become her? And it really comes down to this balance, right, of like loving who you are now, being gentle with yourself in this process where, of course, you know, you're not going to arrive there today. <laughs> We're here for a lifetime of learning. It's it's a lifetime long journey and so it's holding this love and this acceptance and gentleness for who you are right now in all of your imperfections and messiness and messy healing and continuing to become, continuing to learn, continuing to do something differently, to try on something else, to and to let go of those pieces of you that you can see this is not me or it was but it's not coming with me it's not meant to come with me where i'm going now it's not part of who i'm becoming so it's shedding allowing those parts to shed and it's allowing yourself to to become to ever become and to find some peace on on this ride so if this is your first time to tapping, I invite you to pause and go check out my intro to tapping video first. Uh, there's a link to it in the description of this video. But otherwise, um, let's go. Plant your feet on the floor if you can. If it feels good, close your eyes. I'm going to do that now. And let's take a couple deep breaths here. How about one deep breath in through your nose? holding it at the top and then exhaling loudly out your mouth. Beautiful. Now breathing at a natural pace. I want you to consider the question, hold the question, who am I becoming? and rate the tension, the tension attached to that statement on a scale from one to 10. Get your number and then open your eyes and follow along and repeat after me. Even though I don't know who I'm becoming, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I don't know how to do this and how to do it right or well, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I'm afraid I'm not enough and might not ever be enough, I deeply love and accept myself. Who am I becoming? Who am I becoming? How do I get there?
How do I do it? I don't know the path. I can't see very far ahead of me. And sometimes I don't trust myself to lead the way. Love finding deep breaths here. <laughs> I don't know if I'll know the way. I don't know if I'll like who I'm becoming. And I certainly don't know how others will respond if I change. What will they think of me? How will they judge me? How might I be totally misunderstood? How might I even lose relationships or deal with those changes? It's the change that feels really unsettling. And I wonder if maybe it's just better to stay here. But I know there's something deeper calling me. There is something more for me to explore and discover. I want to discover more about myself. I can feel it that my soul desires expansion. And it's scary and exciting. I remember to be gentle with myself now. To love who I am now. And to consider myself enough right now in this moment. To consider myself enough even as I engage in this messy process of growth and expansion. I won't always get it right. I won't always represent who I am desiring to become. And I won't always be understood or supported. But I will be here for myself. I will be here with myself. I will not walk away from myself. I embrace forgiveness and grace. First for myself. And then I extend it to others. I'm doing my best. We're all doing our best. And we're all on a different journey. My life is the only one I can live. My path 
is the only one I can walk. Who I'm becoming is up to me. I turn within and I rest in my deep wisdom. I turn within and I rest in my deep knowing. When I turn within, I find the resources I need to keep going. And I know that I'm not alone, and that there's guidance available to me in these deep places within myself. I trust myself to become all that I am becoming. I trust my pace to be the right pace. I trust that experiences will unfold before me that will draw me more deeply into this becoming. And so I will watch for places to learn and respond differently. When I notice I'm stuck in a pattern that no longer fits me, I will enter that discomfort. I'll enter the discomfort of not knowing what to do, not knowing what to say, when I'm choosing a new way for the first time. It's all unfolding for my best and highest good. I will learn from the conflicts and the struggles and from those things that feel easy and wonderful. I am always learning. I open my mind. I question old thoughts and I grow and nurture better thoughts. I open my heart. I breathe and I feel. I rest in the knowing that I don't need to know all the answers right now. Because the wisdom within me will always guide me in the next step when I'm open to it. I surrender to all that I am becoming. Stay here. 
I surrender to the journey. I surrender to a higher power that can offer guidance and support and love. And rest your hands in your lap. Close your eyes, breathe. Let things shift and settle. And now as you hold the statement or question, who am I becoming? See what your number is now on a scale from one to 10. You can open your eyes when you're ready. And if your number is still a three or four or higher, um, run through it again. The longer you tap, the more effective it is. And, and this is also a very layered process. So as we clear the energy around one thing, it might reveal another thing that is there and ready to be seen and heard and touched or tapped. So if something else has come up, um, feel free to scan the other tapping videos that I have on this channel and see if one of those will be maybe the next layer to work with. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can stay in the loop on future videos. And also, I'm totally open to requests. If there's something you're struggling with or dealing with that you'd like to have a, a tapping session on, just shoot me an email to steph at yourempoweredsoul.com. And that could be the next session that I record. So I send you all my love and all my knowing that you are becoming all that you are becoming and you are right on time. <laughs>